Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series on programming with C. In this video, we'll discuss decision making and control structures in C. The decision making statements allow us to alter the flow of execution based on result of a specific condition. The simplest decision making statement is if. Let's use it. Say for example, I have a variable declared in my program. Integer say a is equal to 5. Let's check what is the value of a. Is it greater than 4? If we want to check it is greater than 4, we can use if a is greater than 4. Now, whenever we are specifying if statement, it is followed by simple brackets and a condition. The condition should be specified in such a way that it evaluates to either true or false. That is, the condition should be boolean. If the condition is true, the block written immediately after if is executed. What happens if the condition is false? If the condition is false, we can optionally add else block. And if the condition is false, the statements in else block will be executed. And in the end, the program continues with the rest of the execution. Say for example, here end. So if a is greater than 4, we'll print say a is greater in the else block will print a is not greater than 4. Let's execute this code and have a look at the output of the code. What it has done, it has printed a is greater than 4 and then the next statement which is end is executed. So generally programs are executed in sequence. Here we have altered the flow of execution. If a is greater than 4, this block will be executed. Otherwise, this block will be executed and the program will continue its execution after the entire if else. It is not compulsory to specify the else block. Let's experiment with if statement. Let's have a look at this code. In this code, I'm not giving curly brackets after if or even after else. Let's see whether it works. If I compile and run the code, yes, I'm getting the output means it works. Let's just add one more line here. Just for understanding, printf say abc and compile this particular code. What happens? If I compile this particular code, it will give an error. What it means? It is not compulsory to specify curly brackets only when we want to execute a single statement after if or after else. If you want to execute multiple statements, we have to enclose those statements in curly brackets. That's our first rule for if. So, if there are multiple statements, we have to specify them after if inside curly brackets. So, we'll just add this in curly brackets and this will work again. Now, consider this if statement. As I have already mentioned, if should evaluate to a boolean value. Say, instead of specifying the condition, see what I am doing. I am doing if a is equal to 7. And see now, what I am doing is, I am printing the value of a.
any guesses what would be the value of a and then outside if also I am printing the value of a. As I discussed, it is not compulsory to specify else block. Let's see now what happens if I run this particular code. First check whether it works, whether it is compiled. Yes, it's perfectly fine. Any guesses what would be the value of A? And if you look at the code, what is the value of A? A is 7. Now, what happens if you see here the block after if statement is also executed? If you look here, the block after if is executed as well as the statements inside if is executed. Now, how it is working? See now. The output is 7 and both the statements are executed. The first statement, which is this, this is showing value of A as 7. Okay, this is showing value of A as 7. It means that this assignment is done. So, what we can have, we can assign values in if but how this condition is evaluated to true or when the condition is evaluated to true now what I'll do is I will just specify here a is equal to 0 what happens let's compile Yes, execute and run and see now 0 is printed how many times? 0 is printed only once. Let's, I'll, I'll just modify. So 0 is printed only once. The inside if is not executed here. What it means? When I assign the value of 7, the if block that is inside if is executed but when I assign a value of 0 inside if is not executed and let's say I assign a value of minus 5. If I compile and run this particular code inside if is executed. What does it mean? It means that whenever you are evaluating if statement, if the value of if statement evaluates to 0, it is considered as false, whereas if the value of if expression evaluates to any non-zero value, it is considered as true. Non-zero includes positive as well as negative values. That's why when I specify 7, it is evaluating to true. When I specify minus 5, it is evaluating to true. But when I specify 0, it is evaluating to false. Let's modify our code. And now what I'm doing, can I specify comma in the if expression? And now what I'm doing, I am specifying a value 0. Yes, any guesses what will happen? Let's first compile this code. Yes, it's working fine. Any guesses what would be the output? Whether inside if is executed. Let's run the code. If you look at the output, inside if is not executed. Why? Now, when this statement was executed, we have assigned a value of minus 5 to A and after that we are assigning another value 0. So what will happen minus 5 and 0 the end value will be considered and what is the final result of evaluation 
of this particular statement it is 0 and as we have discussed 0 is considered as false the inside if won't be executed even in this particular case and the value but if you observe again I'll compile and run inside if is not executed but the assignment is done means a is equal to minus 5 is stored but what we have done we have specified 0 at the end and that's why the inside if is not executed another variant of if statement is if else if ladder let's say I have a variable marks which is declared as integer and it is storing marks of a student now on the basis of marks I want to assign a grade to the student now there are multiple conditions that needs to be checked we can specify like this if marks is greater than say 75 the grade is now how will you specify rest of the conditions so else we can specify like this and we can specify the next condition marks is greater than 60 this way we can specify an else if ladder as you can see here if the marks are greater than 75 first block will be executed else we are checking another condition if marks is greater than 60 the second block is executed that is grade b will be printed otherwise it will print grade c let's execute compile and run this particular code and what we will get will get a grade of c because marks value is 56 this is how we can use if else if ladder